Hello, Assalamualaikum This is our practical task 2 Task 2A Activation Slash deactivation of output devices by Nucleo F411RE board So this is task 2A1 Which is to illuminate the Nucleo F411RE boards Green LED Labeled as LD2 To be called as LED1 Note LD2 is connected to the PA5 pin So After compiling you can see the LD1 the green LED here lit up for task 2A2 illuminate an external red LED using port B to be called as LED2 note LED2 is to be active low After compiling and inserting the dot bin file into the board, you can see that the red LED is illuminating. For task 2A3, illuminate an external yellow LED using port C to be called as LED3. Note LED3 is to be active high. After compiling and sending the dot bin file to the board, you can see that the yellow LED is illuminating. For task 2A4, illuminate each LED, LED1, or LED2, or LED3, alternately using a suitable time delay. After compiling and sending the dot bin file to the nuclear board, you can see that each LED, the green, the red, and the yellow, each illuminating by a two second delay. For task 2A5, illuminate each LED, LED1 or LED2 or LED3 alternately using a, the system tick or SysTick timer of the Nucleo F411RE processor. So, after compilation and sending the .bin file to the board, you can see that each LED, LED1, LED2 and LED3, each illuminating by a two second delay for task to be two we are using two switches which are sw1 the blue one and sw2 which is the external one when sw1 is pressed the yellow led is illuminating and when it is not pressed it turns off. When SW2 is pressed, the green LED turns on and when it, when it is not pressed, the green LED turns off again. When both of, of these switches, SW1 and SW2 are pressed, we can see that the red LED is illuminating and when both of them are not pressed, we can see that it turns off again. Task to see creation of a digital clock. So after compiling and sending the .bin file into the microprocessor, as you can see, the LCD screen is displaying the clock, which is in hour, minute, and seconds. As you can see, the word clock represents that the clock that we are about to set. So as you can see, there is a cursor underneath. So using the blue button right here, we can set our intended clock hour from 0 until 24 using the external switch right here we can change the cursor to move from hours to minutes and in minutes and seconds we can choose from 0 until 60 
So as an example, I will set the clock at 10 minutes. Using the external button, pressing again will move to the seconds and pressing once again will move to the alarm which is where we want to set the alarm. And I will set the alarm as 10 minutes and 10 seconds. As you can see, the clock is being is counting. When the clock and alarm is of equal time, the buzzer and LED will be turned on for one second each, and the LED can represent an output for a machine in other applications. Task 2D measurement of voltage. As you can see on the circuit, there are three resistors resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor 3. So, resistor 1 has a value of 220 ohms, resistor 2 has a value of 1 kilo ohm, and resistor 3 has a value of 4.7 kilo ohms. So, this circuit uses a voltage divider concept, and we, ca we can measure the voltage from three nodes. One node here displays the value of 3.3 .3 volts. The second value, the second node here displays the value at the second node which is 3.16 theoretically but the voltmeter displays 3.19 due to the tolerance of the resistors. And for the third node it displays the value of 2.63 volts whereby the theoretical value for this, this node is 2.62 and the value of 2.63 takes into account of the tolerance of the resistors. For task 2E which is measurement of a resistor we will be measuring three resistor values of which three of them have tolerances of plus minus 5%. We will measure 220 ohms resistance, 1 kilo ohms resistance and 4.7 kilo ohms resistance. The values of this resistance will be displayed on the LCD. Right now, we are using a 1 kilo ohm resistor in the circuit. When removing the 1 kilo ohm and replacing it with a 220 ohm, recompiling the the program again and inserting the dot beam file into the nucleo board. the value of the resistance will be updated. Right now, the resistance value is 220 ohms. For 4.7 kilo ohms resistor, we need to replace the 220 ohms resistance with a 4.7 kilo ohms resistance. Inserting the new resistance in the circuit, and inserting the dot bin file again into the nuclear board the value will be updated once again as you can see the current resistance value is 4.7 kilo ohms for task 2 f we are measuring resistor there are three resistors one, two, three. So this resistor is 4.7 kilo ohm. 
this one is 220 ohm and this one is 1 kilo ohm so these three resistor values are being displayed on the LCD right here as you can see the resistance value the third one has a delay of 3 seconds after the first and second value